Um, is Oxford even diverse? Is Oxford a racist? Are there even black people in Oxford? <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Miss Vaz. Welcome to my channel. And for those of you who've already subscribed, thanks for coming back. Okay, so for today's video, I want to talk about something very serious. Um, this question tends to come up quite a lot in my DMs and stuff when people are asking about Oxford. The first question I get, especially from ethnic minorities, is... Um... Is Oxford even diverse? Is Oxford a racist? Are there even black people in Oxford? So those questions come up quite a lot and I thought it'd be nice to address it. So I figured since I have just completed a year as a foundation year student and now I've finished my first term of my first year as a normal student, I feel as though I'm quite experienced in um, judging whether or not Oxford is diverse. So um, before we begin, I want you all to remember that I can only speak from my experience. I can't speak on behalf of anyone else. My views are not reflecting those of anyone other than myself. And I am sharing my experience as a young black African girl navigating this space that is Oxford University. So that's it. These are these thoughts, no one else's, and yeah. So just put that out there. So let's get to it. Is Oxford diverse? Is Oxford diverse? Is Oxford racist? Is Oxford diverse? No. No. Flat out, no. Oxford is not diverse. It's not diverse, but that is from my standards. From my standards and from what I'm used to, Oxford is not diverse at all. And when I'm talking diversity, I mean the, the staff are not diverse, all of my lecturers and tutors not diverse my student body is not diverse the the area we live in the town oxford as a town oxfordshire is a you know it's not diverse that's just a fact okay i can't say fact that's my opinion it is not diverse at all yeah it's just not diverse especially as well comparing to where i'm from i live near birmingham just outside of birmingham so if i hop on the bus and i go to birmingham city center it's a splash of color it's a splash of color everywhere i see white i see brown i see black i see pink blue yellow orange i see everything okay so for me to come out of birmingham and step into oxford that was definitely definitely a shock to the system it's not diverse it's, whoever says it is you're totally you're lying you're lying i don't that one i'll stand but you're lying where do those thoughts come from why am i saying that oxford is not diverse well when i walk into every single lecture every single lecture i walk into it is filled with white faces for the past year and three months every single lecture i've stepped into every single class every single seminar whether that be my lecturers my tutors my peers so far i have had white faces look back at me almost every every single class well this term every single class but but you know there's a but, there's always got to be a but because when life throws lemons, you finna make lemonade, honey. You finna make that lemonade and you finna make it good. Okay, but I'm very lucky and blessed to um, go to a college that is considered to be the diverse college in Oxford. And also, you've got to think of it in the context, diverse for Oxford standards. So I go to Lady Margaret Hall College and that is considered to be one of the, if not the most diverse colleges in Oxford. I feel as though um, our college kind of promotes a philosophy of inclusion and it celebrates difference. And it was the first college to have women, you know, come to Oxford. It was the first college to, to allow women to come in. And um, so it's always been known as the college that kind of sets the standard from what I see anyway. And yeah, um, Lady Margaret Hall is considered to be one of the more diverse colleges and I'm really, 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 really happy about that because I feel as though I would have struggled and felt very isolated had I have not had um, 
as many diverse faces looking back at me when I'm in college so that's really really nice most of my my friendship group it's a mixture of all kinds of people and I really 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 like that and shout out to Lady Margaret Hall because honestly it's it's done it correct the correct way it's not where it should be but it has worked very hard to get itself to where it is now and um as an ethnic minority navigating the space that is Lady Margaret Hall I feel very comfortable there and um, I feel very included and I feel supported there so for me Lady Margaret Hall is quite diverse I'm very very happy about that I like Lady Margaret Hall but that being said we have to remember that making Oxford and Cambridge diverse is not just the job of Oxford and Cambridge and I must say that from the meetings I've sat in all the access and outreach stuff I've been involved in you know I've gone and talked to a lot of different people in these offices and from what I see they are making that effort I know it's hard to believe especially with the with the media outbreak and you know what's been said about Oxbridge in the past but they really really are making an effort to try and um, fix the issue of diversity within Oxford and um, I'm very happy about that of it's not where it needs to be and it's making slow progress but it is doing something and its intentions are correct from what I see I don't know what the people at the top are really thinking but from as a student from what I I see Oxford is trying but also it's not just their job it's the job of our teachers our teachers need to encourage us more they need to tell us that no matter what background we come from no matter what race we are we deserve to occupy a space at the University of Oxford or Cambridge it's also the job of the media the constant bashing of Oxbridge is putting students off as a young black lady sitting at home watching the news and I was thinking about Oxford but I thought oh I might not fit in because you know I'm not the correct race me seeing the media constantly bashing Oxbridge it's reinforcing my fears so I feel as though the media does have a responsibility to young teenagers to kind of show to try their best to show the other side of Oxbridge like why not come and talk to students like myself or many members of the ACS or the ISOC or PACSOC talk to them talk to the students that are flourishing that are doing well and let them you know spread their message so that other students can see yes we are minorities but we do have a voice here and also also, we are working hard and we're doing the best we can. Come along, join us and help us make this place more diverse. But if they constantly bash Oxbridge, I just don't think it's helping. I kind of feel like, if anything, it's making things worse. So yeah, it's the job of our teachers and parents. It's the job of the media. But most importantly, it's your job. It is your job to make Oxbridge diverse. And what do I mean by that? By you applying and coming, you've made a difference. Your presence alone in this space makes such a difference and I want you all to know that if you are considering Oxbridge and you're an ethnic minority and you're thinking, I won't fit in there, I won't be accepted, I don't belong there, you, you, need, you have to come. There has to be a first for there to be a second and, you know, I think I think you owe it to yourself if you have those grades if you have the the ability and potential to do well in this space academically I you you might you have to come you owe it to yourself and you know by you coming you're helping make this space more diverse and that's what I mean when I say it's your job you know most important message with this video is yes Oxbridge is not diverse but please don't be put off by that the more of us that apply, the more of us that come here, the more that Oxbridge will start to represent society and look the way that it's supposed to look. So for instance, last year when I was here, out of 3,000, there were only 35 black students. This year, there are 66 black students. Like, it doesn't sound great, it's not good enough, but it's something, it's some sort of progress. So next year, if we double that again and we do 10 years from now, who knows what Oxbridge will look like? I, I want you guys to apply so badly. I don't think it's fair that a student who's able and, and academically, you know, bright and deserves a space here is being put off simply because of their race. It's not fair and I don't think you guys deserve to miss out on the wonderful opportunities that Oxbridge does provide because no one pushed you or encouraged you or no one let you know like, hey, you can come here and prosper 
um, despite what race you are. So yeah, I now tell myself that my presence alone in a space like Oxford is making a big difference. Every day that I am breathing, eating, sleeping, blinking, just being myself in this place, I'm making a difference. The more I navigate the space that is Oxford, living my true self, embracing my culture, embracing my language, embracing where I come from, embracing my blackness and my Africanness, the more I do that, the more I'm changing the space. So me being here is making a major difference and also yeah the messages I get from you guys on a on a daily basis telling me how much I'm inspiring you how much I'm letting you know that someone who looks like you can be in this space that for me that's, 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 that's beyond that's major absolutely incredible and also I want you guys to know that once you are here especially at Oxford here at Oxford you know we have a lot of societies for ethnic minorities we have PACSOC we have ISOC we have the ACS which is the African and Caribbean Society we have BME reps which are black minority ethnic representatives who um, look after those who are BME students we have a lot of things going on to try and make students who come from ethnic minority backgrounds feel more at home here feel more comfortable here and feel more supported because it can be isolating to spend 24 hours a day day in day out for six months of your year with people who just people that just don't relate to you and your being it's just it's really difficult so um having societies like that really 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 helps and i'm very grateful for the acs they do an amazing job honestly so yeah that is the end of my video i do hope that it helps please if you are a young black lady sitting at home, if you're a young black boy, if you're a young person from Pakistan, you, if that's you right now and you're thinking, I can't do it, I'm, I can't do it, please, please, please apply. We need you. Oxford needs you. Yeah, just come here, rep your culture, rep your ends, okay? Just come here and give it to them. Rep your country, rep your culture, rep the ends, okay? Do whatever it is you need to do to kind of just reinforce who you are in the space. Please do it. We need you. Oh so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, like I said, these are my opinions and my views and they do not in any way, shape or form reflect the views of Oxford University, the ACS, and it, no one's told me to say whatever. I'm, I'm saying it from my own experience and my opinion. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you in my next video. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, please do make sure you comment so that I know that, you know, you guys are enjoying these videos and, you know, just so I know that it's going okay. So yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next vid. Bye.